So this is Final Cut 10.3. It came out in October 2016 and they've moved quite a few things around and I just quickly wanted to go over what some of those changes are. One of the first things I noticed is where are all my playback buttons here such as fast forward, rewind and so on. It's just got the play button here so I can just click on play. I guess maybe they're thinking you're going to take the playhead and just scrub backwards and forwards like this whether it be over a clip there or over here. But I used to like those but admittedly I didn't use them very much and I guess maybe they're thinking people are using the keyboard shortcuts. So to play you can just use the space bar. If I press space bar you can see it starts playing and I can do the same again press space bar to pause it. If I press L it plays forward as well and each time I press L it will speed up, it will fast forward. So let's just go back to the beginning there. So once again let's just press play. If you see if I press L and again it speeds up. So it's quite a useful shortcut and that's the one that I used to use a lot including rewind. Rewind is J. If you press the J key it will rewind and if you press it again it will go back faster and faster. So uh, my process is probably not keeping up with this. this is a 4K clip here so it's probably using up a lot of processing. So that was one of the things that used to uh, that bothered me when that first came up. The other thing I noticed is that there used to be a little button here next to it that used to display usually 100% or whatever it was depending on what it was doing showing you the background tasks or how the import was going. They've moved that here to the top left hand side. So if you click on the show or hide background tasks button it's now up here. And if I was importing something or it was rendering or anything else you would see it happening over here. Nothing like that is happening at the moment. To get rid of it I just click on it to get rid of it. So the other thing I used to have was down in the bottom right here all the sort of effects and things like that, transitions, audio, all that kind of thing. They've kind of moved it around. Some of it is down here in the bottom right and or not quite bottom right, middle right and some of the stuff is up at the top here on the left hand side. So down here if I click on this one here this one is going to show me my effects. So here are my effects and I've got all my audio and video effects and I scroll down there's my audio ones. So these are things like color correction, distortion keying, all the sort of looks and things like that. So all of that is now down here so you can add in audio effects as well. Also down here on the middle right you've also got the transitions browser so if I click on that you've now got your transitions, your dissolves, your arrows, all sorts of other things as well that you might like are all over here. But they moved some of the other stuff up to here. So this one here is showing you your library, that one there. If I click over here it will show me my photos. So again this is a bit like your library of where you've got all your photos like and sound effects and things like that that are all listed over here. If I click on this one here this has got all my generators. So this is the titles and this was the thing that I first sort of noticed is that it wasn't down here and I was thinking where's that gone? So here are my titles and if I click on that to twirl it down you can see I've got 3D build in and out all sorts of titles here so they're in categories and I could click on that little triangle to twirl it up. I've got my generators so I can create backgrounds and things like that so all of those are now over here. So you maybe like me kind of came in here and went where did they all uh, go? So now you know. So they've moved your effects, your library kind of things up into here and you've got your effects and your transitions down here. So you've got kind of got all those things there and the things you need to create are up here in the top left. So don't forget to get back to your library you just click on this one here in the top left. So the other thing you might be looking for is where is the inspector on the right hand side here to show you all the information about your clips and that's just over here in the top right hand side and if I click on that it brings up your inspector. So there's your visual inspector, your audio inspector 
and then your information inspector. And they've just changed the style of it a bit. It looks like the font has changed and maybe the size has changed a little bit. So they've moved that there over into the top. So all of that is now over here. So if I want to switch that off, I can just do that. I can switch that on and off. The other thing is I also sometimes like to see my audio come up here. I'm just going to get rid of my transitions there. And I can do that just by clicking here next to where it's coming up with the time code here. I click on that audio and now if I was to play, I'm not sure there's much audio on here, but there's a little bit and you can see it coming up here. And if I want to get rid of that, I can just click here and that gets rid of my audio. So let's just pause that. So that is, yeah, because it's on 4K, it's dropped some of the frames. That's the ultra high definition and you need a really fast processor for stuff like that. So the other thing you might want to do here as well that you used to do, there used to be a slider for zooming in and out. Well, where's that gone? Well, that's over here. If you click here, middle right hand side, you can now increase and decrease like that and you can increase and decrease the timeline. So that adjusts the height of your clip and that adjusts how much you can see. So you can zoom in and out of that. I quite often just use command minus and plus to zoom in and out there, which I do up at the top here as well. So if you click up at the top here, you can increase and decrease. And again, they've moved that. And if you click on this little icon here, again, you've got the zoom in and out. So that changes the size of the clip. And this one here changes how much you actually see. So there you go. That's kind of where they've moved a lot of the things around. One of the other things they've done is they've now got a share button. So up in the top right hand corner here, this what is now quite common icon. If you click on that, you can now share to other devices and things like that. So you can now share directly where you could before to say YouTube. So you can do it all through here. There's a little button for doing that. So they're just some of the changes. And I, as I show you how to use Final Cut Pro, you'll see some of those. I might not actually point out these changes, but you will see how to use these things as we go on.